Um, I think the fan base is massive. Um, a lot of different ages as well, young kids and stuff. So it's quite, it's quite good to you know, good atmosphere and stuff. situation of the game really if I don't know if, I think probably me my first game Whitehawk I did um, yeah right yeah um, quite quickly actually because you know the boys are just easy going and um, I spoke to most of the boys for the first couple of sessions and yeah just was well, went with it and um, yeah. Um, I think no, nah, it doesn't. My goals they usually celebrations like they're low key. I think I think I just just more focused on the game and trying to get the three points or defending really. And I think it don't really concern me because. Obviously, yeah, I'm a centre half, and my main thing is to defend and try and keep clean sheets. So I think just scoring, just a bonus. No, I don't, well, I don't have a girlfriend, so I can't really. You know, but no, I wouldn't, wouldn't go for a girl that's taller than me. <laughs> Earliest possible, I think, um, in terms of getting a goal uh, or being around to um, create a goal. Probably say I, I look around 80th, 80th minute, around there, about 10 minutes ago. I'm 6'6. Six, six. Um, around when I was 13 or 14, playing at Crystal Palace in the academy, I played against Norwich um, and I scored two that game, one headed from a corner and one left foot finished from a corner and then towards the end of the game I, s I got another chance with my right foot and I scored, um, kicked it over, um, so yeah. No, I think um, most people say, um, sort of, when I go up top, they say that I should be a striker because um, I can finish, I'm good at finishing, but I enjoy defending and, you know, as I said before, getting a goal is just a bonus. I think probably scoring my first goal on my debut and to also uh, get the winner, also um, being in the team. Probably say, um, not being able to play football again. It, that's my dad that said that as well. Really? Yeah, because I got a picture uh, in my, on my, my wall. It's, it's a quote, I think it's Martin Luther King, I think. Or, or someone that said it, not Martin Luther King, I think someone else. But he was answering that question, what did he pursue, isn't it? So he's saying it because I've got that, but I don't actually know what it says. Mm. So I'm just uh, basically answering the question. Being able to go through and play, play through the academy system throughout my early age, early stage of my career when I was young. At the time, I would say Rio Ferdinand, um, when he was playing, yeah. Uh, Grime all day, Grime, yeah. Yeah, I think now to think of it, I do, um, you know, especially as throughout my early career and stuff, everyone's saying, oh, Chris Morning, Chris Morning, look like Chris Morning and stuff. So just to, you know, to think of where he's come from to where he is now, definitely. I 
I just think that my first couple of sessions, I thought it was, the setup was very professional. Um, and I just liked how, you know, trying to get promotion and trying to go up the leagues is, is a big thing. And the fan base as well, there's a lot of fans and stuff. So, yeah. No, no. I think just getting out of bed, just get, making sure getting to the meet time on time and um, yeah, get my first pass in and start a game and then it's ready to go. Well, I support Arsenal. Um, my idol growing up, probably from young, it was Ronaldinho, I think. Um, you know, I started off playing up front and then as I got, when I got older, I just went back and a half now so I think as I started getting older I think it was I was looking towards the likes of Rio Ferdinand and John Terry. Yes it is especially uh, not being able to see like only seeing boys probably one training session a week if you have a game or if you don't have a game at week two but it's it is a bit it is a bit hard getting used to but yeah.